Salinas Valley is a wide open space located between two mountain ranges that has the most fertile land in the world. We feed the entire world with the produce that we grow here. But unfortunately, Salinas is ranked number one and number two for youth homicides in America. Everybody says they want to be number one and number two. Well, this isn't a number you want to be. A very, very wise old man told me about 15 years ago, and it doesn't matter how rich you are, doesn't matter how talented you are, it doesn't matter how famous you are, you are not relevant unless you're given back. I have been an air show performer for 40 years. I've traveled across the oceans to share the art form of aerobatic flight. Coming all the way from Salinas, California, John D. Tucker. In the three county area, there's almost 50,000 illegal immigrants, and I call them pioneers. They come to America to harvest these crops, doing a backbreaking job to provide a better dream for their children. When the parents aren't home and they're out providing a future for their kids, and the gangs are prevalent, it's very seductive for a young man or woman to be involved. They come home from school if they go to school and there's nothing going on. And if you have no hope because mom and dad are doing these minimum wage jobs, no education at home, no one to help you with your homework, no, no programs or directions. And so all of a sudden you've got this new family that's, hey, I'll take care of you, don't worry about it. When you grow up on some of the streets in Salinas, uh, becoming a part of a gang isn't always a choice. You kind of got to pick a side for, for mere sake of survival. Growing up in Salinas is like a jungle. A lot of my best friends didn't get to see 17. And Salinas is a very tough place, especially when you walk out your door and the first thing you see is just some gang members and your brother or your cousins hanging out with them. So what do you want to do? You want to go follow them. So it's a never ending cycle. Quite simply, we know one of the best protective factors against protecting a kid from future violence, either being a perpetrator or a victim, is um, loving and caring uh, relationships with adults and access to quality programming, uh, whether it be educational, vocational, or otherwise. We founded the Bob Hoover Academy of Aviation Excellence to affect change one kid at a time. We've partnered with the Monterey County Office of Education in a very formal way. And what they've done is they've created an entire high school track built around aviation and the metaphor of flight. And what we provide is just the flight opportunities and support the ground school and the ground instruction for our students. This is a revolutionary form of alternative education. It's a complete hybrid blended learning option that nobody's ever seen before. This is not about creating pilots. This is about allowing our children, the future leaders of America, to face fears and redefine themselves. Soloing an aircraft for any person, no matter if the most successful CEO in the world or if they're a kid from the inner city, is a completely transformative life experience because it's a time where you have to take personal accountability. It's not, you know, the law is telling you what to do, your parents are telling you what to do, your peers are telling you what to do, but it's something that has to come from inside because when you're an airplane by yourself, your life is literally in your own hands. And so really that transformation fits in with the entire metaphor of the Bob Hoover Academy program. That idea of allowing students to take control and take flight and really have that empowerment to know that they can not only be behind the controls of an airplane, but behind the controls of their own life as well. The first time I flew and the pilot told me the controls were mine, I was amazed that this man can trust me with his aircraft and his life in my hands. He was giving the kid a chance from Salinas, California, an opportunity that no one else would have. When all our town known is for drugs, violence, and murders. But he looked at me and didn't see that. He saw someone that was actually willing to change. So that's what changed me. John D. Tucker made me the person I am today. Of all the programs that I have worked with, uh, this is uh, the best that I have seen. Um, in terms of its capabilities of engaging and reaching students. What success means to me with this program is launching students on a new trajectory in life. Being here, you just know you're set for your future. 
it throws you onto the right track. I feel like this school has changed my life because I was following my friend's footsteps and making bad choices. Before I started this program, I felt less confident. Now that I've actually flown and I control the airplane by myself, I get the confidence to actually try new things in life. When I look in the eyes of these kids and see this transformative change, see their spirits soar, we're completing our mission. We have seen the significance and the importance of working with the Bob Hoover Academy where we can train our young people to have a future. And the more that we can do that, the better this community will be and that will reduce those numbers of violence and we will have some more productive members of our community. After we get a really strong template, then what we'd like to do is stamp this out in communities that need it most. This is only the beginning. I can't wait till tomorrow. I can't wait till next month. I can't wait till next year. Gracias a todas las personas que ayudaron a poner este programa junto. Gracias a todos los maestros que hicieron este programa para los estudiantes para que salgan adelante en la vida. Gracias por cambiar mi vida.